We have yet another instance of an unarmed black man being shot to death. This one is in Cincinnati. But there is a twist in this story. The cop who shot him, Ray Tensing, has actually been indicted for murder. Wow. So uh, this happened uh, near University of Cincinnati. Uh, he was a Cincinnati, University of Cincinnati Police uh, Department officer. The person shot here is Samuel DeBose. Now I'm going to show you the video. Now obviously a warning here. At some point, Samuel gets shot and killed in this video. The thing I find haunting about these videos is you, I keep thinking they don't know what's about to happen. He doesn't know those are the last moments of his life. And as you can see, the cop doesn't know he's about to do this either, right? And it doesn't start out overly antagonistic. And DeBose does, you know, weird things that, like, gives the cop alcohol, as you're about to see, that it was in the car, doesn't have his license. But you'll see it devolve in the middle, that's why I'm telling you about this, really quickly. So I wanted to give you a warning on that, and then, uh, and then if you can stomach it, watch another unarmed black uh, guy, unfortunately, being killed. By police officers. We've got to shine a light on this so we can help fix it. Hey, how's it going, man? Hey, how's it going? Good. Officer Tensing, you see police. You ever license on you? Yeah, what happened? What was the problem? Okay. Is this your car? Yeah. It's going back to the female, actually. Yeah, it's, 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 it's my, my, my wife, her name is Sean DeVries. Okay. We don't have a license plate on your car. Oh, I, I just got my glove on. I have it. What's that? It's right here. I just... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's actually, that's got to go where the front plate's supposed to go. Well, don't you don't have to reach for it, it's okay. Do you have a license on you? Uh, yeah. What's that uh, bottle on the floor there? Oh, the bottle. Bottle of what? Okay, do you have a license on you? Okay, do you know where that is inside? Is that, or, or what? Yeah, I got my, my father's and stuff on that. Okay, I'm going to ask you again. Do you have your license on you? I have license. You can take one of my name. So, you, do you not have your license on you? Uh, I'm asking you a direct question. Do you have your license on you? Uh, I thought I'd be behind the camera. Why did, what did you pull me over for? Again, the front tag. Is it an accident? But it's not illegal to have a front tag. <laughs> okay. Actually, it is. I'm going to ask you again. You have a license on you. I have a license. You can run my name. Okay. Is that not on you then? Uh, I don't think I have it on me. Be straight up with me. Are you suspended? No, I'm not suspended. Why don't you have your license on you? I don't. I just don't. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just gonna go in the house. Okay. Where do you stay at? Down here. Right around the corner. Okay. Well, until I can figure out if you have a license, license or not, go ahead and take your seatbelt off for me. I ain't even doing that, man. Go ahead and take your seatbelt off. Stop! Stop! Now, some small but important details before we get to the heart of the matter. Uh, the reason why the car keeps going there is because at that point, Samuel DeBose has already passed away. He got shot in the head. He's dead. And so the car just drifts out, right? And the cop runs after him. Now, on the bottle of alcohol, uh, upon rewatching it, you realize, or I realized, uh, not opened. So it's not like he was drinking in the car. Now, you could say, hey, look, that's a violation. The reason he got pulled over in the first place doesn't have a license plate at the front of his car. These are violations. They're not worth killing somebody over, obviously, obviously, right? Uh, now, some people are pointing out, oh, you know, DeBose had a criminal history. He shouldn't have been trying to uh, keep the door closed as the cop was trying to open it. All things that are true, not worth killing somebody over, okay? Now, as I watch the tape, when we go to the heart of the matter, I was surprised to see how unhostile Ray Tensing was, the officer was, throughout. I, because we knew this tape was coming. 
The, we, we did a story yesterday about Cincinnati police and other official, city officials saying, oh, the tape is not good, right? And they were waiting to release the tape after the indictment, and, and now Officer Tessing has been indicted. Uh, and I've seen a million of these tapes, and the cops usually come in super, super charged up, yelling, screaming, etc. Tensing wasn't doing that. So at the end of the day, I, I found myself more sad about this than, than angry, partly because of, of exactly what we've been saying on the show for so long. The training is wrong. You didn't have to pull out that gun, but they get trained. Everybody's a danger. Everybody's a danger. We did a story here. Uh, on, a, on a great video that AJ Plus had done where they went and got the police training, right? And they teach exactly this kind of scenario. You pull somebody over, they're in a car, and in the training, uh, and, and it was in a good police department. It was in a police department that didn't have problems, but this is happening all across the country. In the training, somebody pops out of the car that you stopped for a minor reason, boom, it shoots you dead in one second. So they get all the cops like worried, panicked, they're gonna shoot me dead, they're gonna shoot me dead, I'm so scared, they're gonna shoot me dead. Oh, he didn't listen to one order, he didn't close the door, or the car looks like it's going by, just pull out the gun and shoot him. Shot him in the head, don't shoot him in the head for that, don't shoot him in the head for that. What are you doing? They, they are, they, they got their finger on the trigger, they're ready to use it, usually there are no consequences, in this case there is. Now, don't get me wrong, Tensing is obviously guilty in a thousand different ways, uh, I don't mean in a court of law, they'll decide that in a court of law, but in terms of did he shoot the guy in the head, of course he did, you just saw the tape. And on top of that, originally when he called uh, it in on 911, and he said, uh, yeah, you know, he the car almost hit me, because he needed some excuse for shooting the guy in the head. But then when he went back to the department and filled out the report, here's what it said. According to Tensing's incident report, the officer fired his gun after being dragged by DeBose's vehicle, like that the vehicle had presumably hit him and then dragged him along and he, oh, fearing for his life, he had to shoot the guy. You see the tape, now that's not remotely true, not at all true. So did he try to cover his ass and tr cover up for the fact that he, you know, shot someone in the head? Of course he did, of course he did. And and so we'll see what the punishment is in, in a court of law, but so often officers go in there and go, I got a dangerous job. No, no, it appears the, you're not in danger, you are the danger. Right, And so if you're getting pulled over by a cop, especially if you're a black person in America, I mean, we see this, and it's not just anecdotal, it's not just all the videos we're seeing now, it's in the numbers, we've shown you the numbers before. Uh, black people are far more likely to be pulled over, far more likely to be killed uh, than white people as a matter of percentages uh, in altercations with the police. So if you're pulled over, look, almost under all circumstances, certainly if you're poor or middle class in the country, but if you're poor and you're black, oh my God, you're in danger. I mean, how, how can we not conclude that? And even by cops who aren't necessarily hostile, they've just been taught, ah, it's dangerous, 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 and they got the stereotype in the back of their head, black male, even more dangerous. I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. And next thing you know, shoots an unarmed guy and kills him. You've got to fix the training, for God's sake, don't tell them to shoot at a moment's notice. Remember when cops used to say freeze, your, put your hands up. They used to go through a protocol, when a guy was running away, you don't automatically execute him. You're supposed to try to chase him down, and if you can't get him, you don't shoot him, unless you think he's in actual danger. You saw a gun, he's about to shoot you or someone else, but it's time after time, it's an unarmed person that they shoot. Deeply frustrating, and it's hard uh, not to be in fear of your life now uh, that we see what officers are actually up to. You think this wasn't happening before? They just didn't have the video before. Now the cops are mad oftentimes, as, as a Fox News guest and a former NYPD officer said, unfortunately, it's all being recorded now. No, that is the only fortunate part so we can begin to fix this problem that has been around for a long, long time.